I named this flight the Discovery Flight, and um, initially I thought, what a great way to honor um, Mr. White and so many of the other discoverers who are on this mission who, in their own way, I discovered really something inside of myself, which is the reason that I do this, which is it's really all about the people. Um, we do these flights as often as we can, and it, uh, as I said, we're, we're privileged to have done eight, but as I spoke with Dottie today and, and learned about her husband and, and learned about um, why she came, uh, it was a great reward to me. And I want to thank Dottie and, and I want to thank everyone uh, for letting us share the lives of your loved ones. And I hope that we're all discovering inside of ourselves uh, that this is a very meaningful effort that we're involved in. You'll be aware as you see it go up that all that sequence of events took place to fire the rocket. We get a green light showing that we have sent the signal and responded with high altitudes of the wind, which will tell us which way the rocket might, might and will get pushed on its way up. And then we bring that back down to a solution. So in, in fact, although it's not so dramatic, you could aim this way and because of the winds go that way. And all of that stuff has to, has to line up to right down the center line here and then we fire. But I expect you guys want to see a rocket, right? So but we get you out of here, you can get, the quicker we get you out of here, the quicker you can go see a rocket. So maybe we'll let you do that. Your items, the, the cremains that are on board, they are, they are contained inside the nose cone, which is the sharp pointy part, about halfway in the middle is where, is where they are. In the blue cone, they're about in the middle of that blue cone is where, is where we uh, pack those. And uh, so they'll be the first things to hit space. Sea, land, air, space. I'll send Ralph to space because I know Charlie Schaefer and, and uh, I thought Charlie can put him uh, on a space plane, on a rocket, and he'll go to space. I want to thank Charlie Schaefer and his crew here for this event, and we're highly looking forward to this event. Thank you so much. Any time at our house or any place we went camping or anything, Michael always toasted to everyone to have, uh, he liked to drink Yukon Jack, so it would be a toast to friendship, and that's what he did. So at his memorial service, we bought like 200 little bottles of Yukon Jack, and so when they, my son did the toast and talked, and all of a sudden you could hear all these pop, 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 all these little bottles, and it's just like Michael, that's what he would do. Everybody on that bus, by the time we got out there and back, if Michael was here, you would be lifelong friends. He would tell stories the whole time and keep everybody laughing the whole time. So, that was it. The Discovery Flight. John David Belson, a dream come true. Charles Wallings Devere the third, beam me up Scotty. James J. Goodwin the second, stars will shine brighter. Philip Frederick Green, we miss you, fulfill your dreams. Frank T. Canterwitz, I love you dad. William J. Loomis, a flight for our dad. Patricia J. Patterson, somewhere over the rainbow. John Roger Sims, eagle soar, I am still alive. Larry A. Cuellar, Jr. Have a wonderful journey, Dad. Leroy Arnold Dickens, Jr. To infinity and beyond. Michael Lee Graves, lest we forget. Nancy L. Johnson, I am where I wish to be. The Livingston family, have a great flight, Mom. Mr. Powell, W-A-L. Edwin Resto, 
I'm not the man they think I am. I'm a rocket man. Ralph Bradshaw White. From Ralph Bradshaw White, Friends and Relatives. wanted to go up and look down on earth and say I live there. <laughs> yeah, we've travelled thousands of miles but it was definitely well worth, worth it. it to absolutely. See him. The atmosphere and the, and the build up to it and you know it's it was it's just, great. It's really. part of his dream and we've built a fulfillment. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What would you say to other people that might be thinking about it, they've, they've maybe heard about it, but they wonder if it's sort of right for them or if it's, I don't Go know, Go and do it. Or, Go and do it. Yes. That's the thing. We Go would recommend this yeah. to recommend so many it. people that we've spoken yeah. to have not known about it and have said, that's just a brilliant idea. He really liked anything to do with space. And we had read an article years ago about Gene Roddenberry going into space with his ashes and thought it was kind of something special to do. And we and I thought of it after the fact. So on the anniversary of his death, I decided to do this and thought it was a fitting tribute for him. Well, you know, it was so great because we came out yesterday and we got to see everything in advance. So I knew exactly what was gonna happen and the areas to look. And so I was a little primed for it. So as countdown, I have a little camera that's got a little video on it. So I shot a short video of it taking off. So it was really great. It's like, goodbye, Michael. I spent the past year crying most of the time off and on, but this is more a happy time than a crying time. So even though I'm a little, I'm still sad that he's gone, but it's not, it's not a sorrowful time. It's only a celebration of his life. The launch, which is an, an incredibly emotional experience. So it was a much better view than when I was here two years ago. Two years ago we were three miles away. Now we're one mile away. So even though I'm going to pretend there's Merlot wine in this and I'm going to toast Ralph for the launch. I had no idea. I've gotten so many emails from people I've never even heard of but who were friends of Ralph. They've been emailing me telling me what a wonderful thing this is. I've gotten calls this morning what time's the launch. They're very ex they're not here but they're very excited about this. This is this is more touching than people realize who are not involved in it. When you go and have a morning like this you can't come away except for having tears in your eyes and remember. So did you? Did you have tears in oh, your eyes? Oh, I did. Oh, I did. And all the people that have been involved in doing this and what they contribute to the whole, all whole. It's just a real gratifying situation. And it is a new frontier. It isn't just a matter that you're doing something that's been done before. It's brand new, brand new. And uh, love that surrounds the families and the love that surrounds the people that work in the family are all there and they're not just putting on the act it's really a real basically sound